Okay, the purpose of this video is to show that you can use a Solex 34 pick 3 carburetor, a bone stock Solex carburetor and modify it to run bigger engines. I researched it, couldn't find squat on the internet, not even on YouTube, except for I think I believe it was uh, one guy running the Solex with a 2100 cc engine but he didn't say how he did it or anything like that no clue how he did it anyways point is it is much more fun to blow uh, people's doors off with a stock carburetor uh, beat those dual carbers guys this is this is actually fun this carburetor has been modified well ever so slightly I removed the Venturi, the 26 millimeter Venturi, I removed it completely ended up with a total of 33 millimeter Venturi which is really no Venturi at all <laughs> that's with the diameter that I have left the way I made it work was I actually added a hose from the uh, from the uh, carburetor I'll show you I added this guy to that little tube that goes straight to the bowl the reason I did that is because I'm trying to achieve a negative I'm sorry a atmospheric pressure at the fuel bowl and uh, for it to work it needs to be at uh, atmospheric otherwise you need some sort of venturi inside the throttle and because we have none I need to uh, needed to do it so that I could uh, simulate having a Venturi but I don't okay now my idle jets are 80 millimeter my air jet is 60 millimeter my main is 155 millimeter and that's really it I think it would probably work a lot better if I had a, a dual advance I only have a vacuum advance vacuum advance but it works pretty good nevertheless it hauls ass fucker hauls ass anyways the uh let me show you see if I can see we don't have a venturi in there you can barely see it doesn't show that clearly but there's no venturi there's the Venturi <laughs> went ahead and took it out now that I took it out I put the carburetor back together and uh, I'm running without the Venturi right now it hauls ass like I said without this guy it won't work you'll stumble you'll surge on the freeways or wherever you're driving you surge flat spot it'll bog down with this it eliminates the problem about 90 percent you still have a little stumble if you do a stab uh, throttle uh, if you try to do a, uh, a, a stab on the throttle it'll choke a little bit it'll come back though but uh, drivability is pretty good and uh, it hauls ass and it doesn't and it doesn't shake works really good let me start up the engine so you guys can hear it run look at that RPM is like 800 smooth I mean that is smooth it doesn't stink I bet it'll pass smog <laughs> it'll pass smog I swear it doesn't stink it's really good throttle is smooth there are no stumbles of course without the hose there is somewhat of a stumble it will stumble a little without it 
So anyways, I hope you guys can figure out a better way of doing this, but till then, it works. You guys don't have to buy those expensive dual carbs, and uh, this works. I'm sure dual carbs will probably still beat me, but this is pretty darn close to having dual carbs. Okay, that's pretty much it.